Hello and welcome back to the Rotator Cup Expert. My name is Dr. Daniel Orcutt, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, uh, and we talk about things related to rotator cuff surgery, so shoulder surgery, as well as some other things that are around the shoulder and around the body that are pertinent to uh, rotator cuff repair and shoulder injuries. Um, today we're gonna talk about, this is gonna be the first part of two parts in rotator cuff repair, rotator cuff healing, not healing, and what do we do if it doesn't? Why doesn't it? And what if we do if it doesn't? So first part today is gonna be why would the rotator cuff not heal? Uh, and the second part we'll go along will be, well, if the rotator cuff doesn't heal, what do we do next? What are our options? Because there are other options. So we'll start here. Why would the rotator cuff not heal? Well, there's a few reasons why the rotator cuff tears, and those reasons are the same of why it might not heal. So most of the time, the rotator cuff tears uh, over time. It's not a traumatic injury. Uh, even if it seems to be a traumatic, oftentimes there's some damage to the rotator cuff before it actually tears. So that's because how the rotator cuff attaches in the blood supply. So if we look at the ball, the rotator cuff comes across here, the, the predominant rotator cuff that's torn, the supraspinatus, comes across here and attaches to the top. So that top attachment is, the attachment site is called the greater tuberosity. So the blood supply to the greater tuberosity, that means the blood supply getting to the rotator cuff attachment is so-so, it's not great. So over time we do this and this and this, and we get it pinched, 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 pinched. Over time that thins it out. And then ultimately you may have an injury or maybe not, depending on your age, uh, the rotator cuff tears. So part of the reason why the rotator cuff tears is because the environment that the rotator cuff is in. Okay, and so that's important for us to understand because that's part of the reason why the rotator cuffs might not heal. So if the rotator cuff is tenuous as far as the, the uh, blood supply to it, there's a few things that we can do to help improve those chances of healing, um, but sometimes it doesn't anyway. And so why, other than this, the, the blood supply part, why else wouldn't it heal? Well, there's a few reasons. One, if it's a really big tear, it's harder to put back together. And we'll talk about specifically how we put it together in another video too. Uh, if it's a really big tear, it's harder to put it back together. Um, so if it's this way big, so if, 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 it's, if it's a tear of multiple tendons, so the most common tendons that are torn are the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus. So if the supra and the infra are both torn, that means it's a bigger tear. It'll be harder to fix, which means it'll be harder to heal. Um, if the tissue itself of the rotator cuff, because you can imagine, and a tendon is, is bone, muscle, tendon to bone, okay? So that's what a tendon is. The so tendon attaches muscle to bone. And so that tendon, as like anything else in life, can get thinner and thinner over time. That's part of the reason why it heals, but it may not have just been that torn piece that's, that's a little thinner. It may be most of the tendon. So if the tendon is really thin, then as you can imagine, if we put our sutures through the tendon to put it back where it's supposed to be, sometimes that's those sutures, the tendon can go and go right through it, can get torn through so that the sutures themselves are really tough. Those sutures may stay right where they're supposed to be, but the tendon can pull through it. So that's possible, and that's because, again, oftentimes, it may be because the, the repair wasn't done particularly well, but more often than not, it's because the tendon is not very good. And sometimes there's a few things we can do technique-wise to help improve that tendon. Um, again, that's, we'll talk about that in the next episode of what if it doesn't heal, what do we do next, okay? So the tendon is thin, or lastly, the tendon is retracted. So if we look at the ball here, we look at the, 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 the rotator comes across. If it's torn and pulled back way back, that usually means also that it's got a big tear because it can't tear far back without it being a big tear. So and if it's way back here, it may be very difficult for us to put it back over, which means the reason for that is because the tendon typically is, is um, not very good if it's that big of a tear, like we said in, in point two. The muscle itself may have contracted, may have scarred in, and so it may not be able to get back over there, or it may be very difficult to back, get back over there, or may get back over there, but not all the way over. And so if that's the case, a bigger tear, more retraction, then it's gonna be hard for us to fix. And if it's hard for us to fix, that makes it easier for you to re-tear it. And the last part is if it's not, if it, if it doesn't heal, right? And so if the blood supply is not very good, even if we put it back down and we hold it there, if it doesn't heal, ultimately it will fail. Meaning that the rotator cuff stitches are really strong, but they only last for so long. Although they are permanent stitches, the integrity of them, the, the tightness of them, the strength of them ultimately 
loses over time. And so if you have a rotator cuff that's sitting here, but for whatever reason it's not healing, then ultimately that motion over and over and over again, because we're gonna have you start moving your arm so we can get prevent some stiffness over and over and over again, finally it's just gonna fail. And so those are the reasons why a rotator, rotator cuff repair may not heal. Um, because of the environment that's in, because of the size, because of the shape of the tear or the retraction of the tear. So those are reasons why the rotator cuff may not heal. So it's not unheard of if you do a lot of shoulder surgery like I do, that you have someone come back who has had a really big tear that they're not getting better. They're not, they're not moving through those phases of recovery. They don't get better. And we go, wow, I wonder why you're not getting better. And we get a repeat MRI at three months or so, because by then we should really know where we're at. Three months and we see a re-tear. Uh, and again, next next uh, video, we'll talk about what we do with re-tears. Uh, how do we help prevent re-tears? Um, and we'll talk a little bit about the biology and how we try to prevent the re-tear before it re-tears. Um, but anyway, so stay tuned next time and we'll talk about what we do if the rotator cuff doesn't heal. But again, there's lots of reasons why it might not heal. Um, and it's one of those things that the doctor should tell you about as you're, uh, if you're talking about rotator cuff repair surgery. One more thing, sometimes you don't get a repeat, a complete re-heal, uh, so it doesn't heal all the way back. It's almost like spot weld, we call it. If it's spot welded on, and now oftentimes that will be fine. Uh, you'll have enough function through that rotator cuff um, that you don't you don't need anything to be done. And we don't see that typically because if you're doing well enough, we don't get another MRI, but you might get an MRI down the road for something else and go, oh, look at we you have a partial tear of the rotator cuff and you feel fine. But anyway, the rotator cuff doesn't heal sometimes. It's a horrible situation for us as surgeons and for as our patients to have to go through another surgery, but sometimes that happens. And again, next time we'll talk about uh, what we do, what else can we do to help um, uh, in, a, in, a, in the environment of a, a non-healed rotator cuff. There are some things we can do to re-repair it to improve the environment. There's other things that we can do uh, depending on the exact circumstances to uh, improve function uh, even in, in a situation where we're not repairing it but we're doing something different. So keep in touch for that and uh, we'll see you on the, other, the next video. Thanks again.